most people consider iron fertilization to be geoengineering. The definition that many people are using now is that geoengineering is a deliberate manipulation of an element of the climate system like the ocean, the atmosphere, the biosphere, in order to, at large scale, in order to avoid harmful effects of climate change. So that would certainly be the intent of ocean iron fertilization. It would certainly be an attempt to uh, influence an element of the climate system, the, the, we call, what we call the biological pump that moves CO2 from the atmosphere into the ocean and into the deep ocean, and it would certainly be uh, done at large scale. And does iron feed algae? What is the basic mechanism that you're promoting? Yeah. The um, uh, iron is a requirement for plants. Uh, it is uh, a critical energy transfer vehicle in chlorophyll. So every time a, a uh, uh, CO2 moves from uh, the atmosphere and is turned into organic carbon, uh, that photosynthesis process uses 43 different iron atoms. So it's a very important micronutrient. In the ocean, because iron also happens to be extremely insoluble, the iron that's available once you're far away from shore comes from dust. So it's very, very small concentrations of iron that go from, the, uh, from land into the ocean and provide this energy transport uh, uh, mechanism. Uh, there are a lot of ideas about sequestering carbon in the ocean. Some of them, there are other ideas that focus on uh, a more uh, mechanistic approach to carbon sequestration. So they uh, would involve collecting carbon, uh, liquefying carbon on land, and then injecting it into the deep ocean in some form so that the pressure uh, of all of those thousands of meters of water keep the CO2 uh, liquid and they keep it down. Uh, other ideas that are being uh, uh, talked about for the ocean include uh, actually removing uh, the CO2 from the, uh, from the ocean, using it to weather rocks on land, and then the, the product of that weathered rock is alkaline. So it would, not only it would have a double benefit, it would remove CO2 from the ocean and it would also increase the alkalinity of the ocean. So those are some other ideas that involve uh, carbon, carbon sequestration and the ocean. Right, what we've talked about now has been carbon management, taking carbon out of the atmosphere. Uh, the other idea uh, that is in uh, this space of geoengineering does not try to s solve the root problem, the CO2 problem. It tries to prevent uh, the, the uh, warming that's happening as a result of CO2. And it's not intended to just be uh, a band-aid to cover up the CO2, but it's really meant as a, sort of a, a bridge to a new energy economy where we wouldn't be so dependent on fossil fuels. Those techniques are called solar radiation management and they really focus on uh, increasing the proportion of sunlight that's, that's reflected away from the planet. And some of those ideas include uh, putting uh, aerosols, sulfur aerosols, into the, the atmosphere these reflect sunlight, and we know that from uh, what happens when a lot of sulfur goes into the atmosphere after volcanic eruptions. Uh, other ideas are making more, uh, more and brighter clouds, especially uh, over the ocean, so that they would reflect more sunlight away.